Why not op on Jet? With what money? We've been losing every round, Jet. Yeah. What money? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to clip that to show you. You were shooting as you flicked at them and you stopped moving. Instead, you need to keep moving as you flick. You're going to over flick a bit. You keep moving and then you end on their head and you, you shoot them. Just like in the drill. Wait, let's see if we can recreate. Okay, so you're just going to be the Reyna. And all you're going to do is... Can you see my screen real quick? You're going to peek here and then you're going to pre-aim to peek ropes. And then when you see me here, you're going to commit to a crouch spray. Just like the Reyna. Yep, go ahead. Okay. Do you want to try again? Yep. Go ahead and do it again. Okay. Now I'm going to clip and show you what that looks like from my POV. So you can see where you went wrong. This is like, this is going to convert every time against these people who insta crouch spray because they're doing it wrong. These people suck at the game. So here's how it looks. So I'm moving out. Now I see you and notice I keep moving until I'm on your head and then I shoot. Orange bullets. And after I shoot my first bullet, I might crouch spray, okay? So when you say like, oh, all these radians, they always crouch spray, I might crouch spray there at that point. I might commit to that fight. But I'm only starting the fight once I think I'm on you. It's very hard for this person to hit an insta shot on a moving target. I would give them maybe in radiant 30% odds. So if somebody in radiant rushes shots like this, yeah, they're going to kill me when they hit it 30% of the time. And they will die 70% of the time to me which is bad. That's bad for them and good for me. Easy. You rushed. You rushed your shots. You rushed those shots too. You hit his second shoulder. That's better, but you stood still and then aimed and then shot on that jet, which is bad. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you stood still. You stood still to line it up. You can't do that. You can't do that. That was really good. That was good. No, you stood still too long before you shot at that guy. We love when it's your aim's problem, okay? Fixing aim is easy. You can learn aim fast. Fucking perfect. Yeah, you stood still a bit too much to line up that shot. But otherwise, great. Yup. That was perfect. That was perfect. You see, you just, you just chill. You click the head. Okay. If that's how long you need to do that, then that's fine. But that we need to work on that. That was really good. That was really good. I love that fight from you. This is Darshan. He's been active in the professional League of Legends scene for the past decade. For the next 31 days, he will be directing serious practice towards Valorant with me as his guide. How far can someone climb in such a short time frame when they're exceptionally proficient at self-improvement? Are competitive esport athletes easily capable of learning other genres of games? Let's find out. Did you guys survive 7.30? For those of you who are new here, I see we've got more viewers. The stream always cuts out momentarily at 7.33 a.m. Pacific. Why? I don't know. Could I ask my ISP to fix it? I could, but we've kind of turned it into our little thing. Yo! Darshan! <laughs> you sound a bit too excited for a Monday morning. Share the screen. Boot up the range. Let's game. Let's game. All right, let's do it. Yeah, yeah. Let's boot up the range. I want to see. I want to see the dead zones. Sounds Damn, your act triangle is almost full. You've played so many games. We're going to play a live game today, chat. Oh, is this the jet? Is it jet time? So, yeah, I'm going to quickly give you a bunch of. I'm going to info dump you jet stuff. And we're going to play games. And hopefully having, I think a backseat is actually good for us here. But let me see your dead zoning. I want you, can you do medium bot dead zone drill? Dead zone drill? I don't think you ever had me do a medium. Or is it, are you talking about when I sh walk into it like this? Like yeah, that? yeah, but I want you dead zoning the bullet on it. Oh, did, you, did you not watch the video I told you to watch? And then I told you to do the dead zoning drills in the video? Mr. Darshan? I don't know if I saw that. Oh my goodness. Let me share my screen. League of Legends players chat. So yeah, the drill you were just doing, you can... Essentially, that's like the stepping stone to the real drill, which is instead of stopping to shoot that bullet. So let's say you over aim to the right and you move to the, like this way or over to the left, move to the right. Instead of stopping to shoot that bullet, you're going to dead zone that bullet. That makes sense. So you change directions and shoot the bot like that. Does that make sense? So if I switch it to medium, 
this. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. So that's what I wanted to see you run here because it is a lot harder, but you got to actually wake up to play this drill. I'm asleep as you can tell. <laughs> I'm definitely asleep. So it feels like you're Maybe. still stopping for a little bit. I'm not. Are you not? Okay. I can keyboard overlay for you if you don't believe me, but I'm sure at this point you do believe me because I've shown you enough no, time. I you. Yeah, I'm just swapping keys and trying to dead zone the bullet on the bot's head. Okay, I got a nice 17 while comfortably leaning back. Oh, I, I think he stopped. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm again. gonna have it as stopping. Okay. Okay, I see. Yeah, it's gonna take a little bit. Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Now I'm gonna give you another drill then to help you work on this. The other thing we can do is you swap to eliminate 100 here. Click start. You come out into the center. And you're essentially going to try and dead some bullets on the bots. And while I'm not on the bot, I'm always trying to be strafed. That makes sense. So I'm not like standing still at any point. I only stand still when I'm going to shoot on the bot. Just like the JPC video chat. And if you like get too far away, you come back to the center and you just keep trying to dead some bullets on the bot. Wow, I suck. Does that make sense? Yep. Perfect. So being like, you need to develop this comfort. Uh, you can run it now. I'm going to share your screen. I see. Hold on. Let me. Yeah. And if you miss the first dead zone, you're free to enter like a bursting pattern. Like you wouldn't DM. I see. So. But there you like stood still when you missed the dead zone. This is not good. Cause you like Wait, stood still you... to adjust your aim. So for example, if I see it, if I'm to the left of it, do you always want me to come right onto it or is it okay to also left onto it? In Either this is drill? fine. Either is fine. Yep. Oh, okay. Okay. I see him. And there you stood still. Like you got hit yeah, okay. dizzy in your head. Okay. I see. Yeah. Even there, you're not dead zoning those. You're stopping, shooting and moving. Yeah. I'm gonna have to practice this a little bit. Yeah, we need to be more, way more mobile, way more mobile. <clears throat> that turn looked really awkward. <laughs> you should be able to do one swipe, Mr. Spider Shot 180. Okay. Thank I you. Didn't, I didn't expect it to be that far. I can, I can do. I'm not bad with the swiping. I'm not bad with the swiping. I <laughs> <laughs> oh, got the idea. This drill's painful. I'm going to quickly, we're going to turn Ascent into our Primo jet map and split. Those are the two maps I'm going to show you for jet. Okay. Because they've got some cool tech. So one of the routes that's fun on B um, is you essentially will smoke this off yourself or if it's already smoked, you're chilling. You'll prime your dash and you'll updraft and you'll dash over this and come on site. If oh like yeah, this one's that crazy. Way. Yep. Another common one is you'll smoke the lever dash close the door and you'll stay in the smoke a bit try to figure out where to come out of it and then another common one is instead of going to the lever you'll come this way and this protects you from market you see and you can fight yeah. like ct here and stay on that side those are like, Would you want to w out of your smoke there if they were um it doesn't really matter because i'm gonna be in my smoke watching here. and generally these guys are gonna start here. shooting my teammates and at that point it doesn't matter how you come out of the smoke because they're not looking at you got it shooting here and then on ascent a lot of the time you want to contest through mid so if your team's hitting b, b um like routing up to push mid oh my god look at me the jet main taking like a fight here smoking and like dashing to contest market can be really good um fun fact about jet um we're gonna stand like on this corner and i'm gonna look at that box oh evidently not i'll take a step back so if you dash just normally you go like this distance However, if you jump and then immediately dash, you go a lot further, you see? So you always want to jump right before you dash because you just happen to go further. No jump, a lot shorter. Oh, what the hell? That's like two or three teamos extra. Yeah, with a jump, a lot further. An extra two or three teamos, exactly. Okay, pushing up cat through here. It's pretty common to like 
bash across this and then push out when you're pushing mid. And then for main, you'll probably have to practice this, but you can get up on gem with an updraft dash and you need a little crouch on that corner. This can be quite good. And then you just be opping a lot on this map. Uh, I don't want to shoot too much ascent because I'm worried you'll forget. This angle is really fun though. On the corner of this box, you crouch and you can hold right out here. Dude, I always try and do this one. I got in it one time and then I just got shit on. Yeah, it's tough. I think I showed you the plant then, the barrels. Um, this spot's really good on jet. You can jump spot here to see mid. We're just going to go to split though. We mostly just, I don't want to overload you because I want to queue our game. But jet's all no, about all like abusing verticality, especially in post plants. You want to try and find yourself on weird like vertical angles because of the power of her updraft she can get to angles that most agents can't so anytime you're somewhere that like reyna couldn't be it's like good essentially and anytime you're an angle that like arena could play it's worse because those angles get cleared more often okay my, my the bread and butter on uh split is the a hit if you have a sage this is nerd tech you ask her to sage wall on this box pre-round and then you double updraft and you kill the ramps guy but that's like super nerdy stuff but you might have a sage who knows anyways generally just make sure your smoker smokes heaven pretty far out like it's and when you come around this corner you curve the smoke you prime your dash you just updraft dash into that smoke and you route heaven as and you try and tell your team to push ramp and you essentially break the chain because like they'll they might have some ramp guy here looking to fight ramp and they're falling back towards ropes and then you're here behind them like pincering with your team and these types of hits can very quickly transition into like you guys just go ropes and hit b uh and you just ignore anybody who might have been on the a site it's like sorry buddy we're not even fighting you uh, dude that's the best part about jet you're just fucking already on the site yeah so that's my preferred jet pathing on the a hit like i'll do this a lot sometimes you need to land outside of the smoke um on pistol round i want you to try this if you get pistol attack split by shorty uh updraft light armor and do this so you're gonna you're gonna go into that smoke with a shorty here and you're gonna play this and you can come over here and hold this this these are like all really good shorty angles like come here you're almost certainly good for like two playing shorty like this on b side this is a lot more boring you're generally just gonna be dashing out straight like this way with the jump don't forget the jump and then yeah you just peek the angles like a normal guy uh fun angles if you're on the corner of this box you can uh see heaven here you want to be crouched this angle is really good um because these dudes coming out are looking this way yeah that's and like, as they're looking here bam you're right there you're good for at least one then you can fall off the box yeah it's free damage at the very least and this angle is also really good if you've got like a pop flasher so this is a flash zone if you're familiar with what that means essentially if an enemy is in this area and you've got a pop flasher who's like here the pop flasher can get a free kill if these dudes can't dodge the flash so let's say you've got a sky who's got an insta pop flash if these dudes are here and the sky is playing like here she gets a free kill if she knows when to flash well how does she know when to flash well it's very useful if she has a teammate playing a very safe angle like this take some shots on peaks and now she flashes you see if you've set her up for success now because you've got all the info for her and she can finish up the kill another common way to spot that is like this your head on the rope and then you just come down and then your buddy will use their flash to get the kill so splits all about these like ping pongs where you need to try and find ways to get like high value in your life at minimal risk. Uh, and here's one last cool jump you can do. So this is pretty round on defense. Float over this metal box. And then you float over here and you let go of crouch as you hit the edge of this. So you jump. Then after you're in the air, you hold crouch. And then you let go of crouch raise. You hit the edge of that thing. Oh, sorry. Oh, I forgot. There's okay jet mains probably don't even know this a lot of jet mains so if you just hold jump you know how she starts floating yep you actually need to manually trigger the float if you want to do this jump because the automatic float is a little slow it's just a little slow so you actually need to jump let go of jump and then re-hold jump at the right time to make this jump and you'll learn the timing now now i'm heckin thinking about it too much and i missed the jump. i forgot i did it subconsciously the first time let me see if i can get it there we go so you have to learn when to hold float after your jump if you want to hit that one because this one's really tight so you need to start the float manually and then you let go of crouch or you hold crouch i let go of crouch right as i collide with this corner so i'm what holding it through the air and then when i collide with that corner i let go and it bugs me up is that a thing 
Is that just yeah. for that corner? Or is that a thing on other corners too? Um, there like used to be one mid that was really cool, but they removed it. There used to be like a lip here and you could jump onto this box using it by letting go of Crouch at the right time. Um, yeah, this is a thing. This is a thing. Um, ooh, I guess we're going to cheese you kills here. So the spawn barrier is like here, roughly on the minimap. Pre-round, what you can do is you stand here. You ping the corner of that spawn barrier and then you dead zone a bullet on that ping and then you play the round back here. And a oh, lot of the time, yeah, a lot of the time people will just hold this at the start of the round. And if you dead zone this correctly, they're just dead to you if, if you don't fuck it up. Lots of ops on this map are good. I'd like to see you opping on jet. I think there's updraft tech here. Yeah, you can see elbow. I'm trying to remember everything. I haven't played much jet in a while. Wow. If I mm. ever got killed, like I'm sitting elbow and Jet double dash dashes up and kills me like that, I'll actually alt that four. That would be so disgusting. <laughs> there used to be tech on this map where you could updraft and stand on this. And I would just play up here with the operator and hold like this and get so many kills. That was so broken. Wait, what did you main making it to Radiant? Did you play Jet the most? I was playing a lot of Jet before the rework, yeah. Oh, because uh i mean before the rework her dash was instant her smoke she had three of them they lasted longer and they were 100 credits each and her updrafts were 100 credits each oh and her knives on right click refreshed <laughs> it, it, she oh was so God. over tuned dude there's just no reason not to play her all right let's cue our game let's cue our game wait do you have a jet montage somewhere i'm curious um now. have you seen my can anybody get a mortal video where it's like me eight month climb to immortal that's pretty much a jet montage because i played jet in my climb to immortal so you could go watch that darshan yeah he's plot two darshan's experiencing integrating higher order skills on the dragon chart chat where i think the click's coming and we're about to shoot up i think this week i'll actually get a lot better I, yeah I right now it. you're having that dip where you realize there's so much complexity to the game and you're trying to learn it all and once it becomes like naturally we're popping off oh it's lit pick jet so you want me to run it down for, for the video? I'm going to go like 10 and 20. No, no, no. We're top fragging. We are hard top fragging, Deshaun. Okay, okay. Um, Let's buy a shorty and play A. Close left. Like, oh my God. Close side out main. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Let me change my Discord. I put it on push. No, we have to do this fast. I'm prepping you. You have to buy your shorty now and get A. Like A main on your left. Like now. Like we got to go. Because they're set up. They're okay, set up. Darshan, wait, wait, you have wait, to wait. go. Go uh, straight ahead. Straight ahead onto the ground. Yep. Around that corner. That's where you're going to play. Right there. Yep. Now throw your shorty on the ground. Buy a classic. And do not pick that shorty up until the round begins. Uh, get light armor and get a smoke. So classics, if they're on the ground, they despawn when the round begins. But shorties don't. No, pick up your shorty the moment the round starts. You're playing right there. Yep. And crouch. The classic is just in case it's B. You're going to kill. You're going to smoke yourself. Uh, it's fine. You got this. One heaven. Two heaven. Goodness. Yeah, I'm getting that smoke. They're rotating off. Oh, we're actually crying. Our team took every fight. You do not want to flag with a shorty. You'll uh, lose the round if you fuck with the shorty, bro. It's too late, King. You want to lose the round? I don't. If I go back, I'm too slow. Nah, it's one v three retake. No matter what, I would have grabbed a gun. Fuck me. Oh wait, they're actually mid. You can get behind them. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that guy's boosted. There's another. No. Oh, maybe not. We got him, Tiger. Oh, there was. Oh, that's so sad. When you're playing that shorty angle, you need to be looking at your mini map. You need to see that your omens being a total dick and he's peeking a main. You need to tell him to stop doing that. <laughs> you need to tell him, your omen, I got a shorty. Stop over peeking me. And then when he doesn't, you push and you push ramps with that shorty to fight them, uh, which is suboptimal, but you can't just let your teammates take gunfights. Uh, yeah, I was just buy all your util. Worst case, you just don't use it. And just look for a classic right click angle. Don't like peek shit. Oh. Oh, I would have stayed close because they're going to walk into your right click distance. This is too far. Oh, this could be good again. Oh. Don't fight that shit. Oh, okay, your teammates are fighting. Go, go, go. 
can smoke them off and get close. Yeah, and then try to right click their asses. Like you gotta get close, close. Yeah. Yikes. Oh, this dude's just sitting here. Jesus. Oh. Yeah, 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 you play that so poorly. So they're pushing ramp there and you're backing up heaven. No, no, no. Classic is a shotgun, Darshan. Especially when you're playing against stronger guns, you have to use the shotgun mode of it. So you want to stay close ramp, like right ahead of you past that barrier. You see that wall on your left? That's where we should yeah. have stayed because we see they're pushing ramp. If they come up close to us and we get a lucky right click on their head, they're dead. If you back up and you have to do you left clicks, you're yeah, yeah, even closer to the corner, like way up against it. They're not gonna shift. Do you walk think I should play for the one shift. for one? I yeah, feel like I need. I, I need think to you're gonna get line. one. You're gonna smoke yourself, and you're chilling. I see. I'm down for this. Yeah, rotate through mid. There's gonna be one. We're ready to fight them. I smell them bro oh fuck. you weren't ready yeah i didn't see anyone so i was like but there's always a late mid lurk on split if you get your dash you may as well be in an off angle yeah oh that guy's fucking king i'm 45 hp so i'm like fuck i don't want to fight anymore yeah so you shouldn't be solo pushing up on a flank like this and risking your vandal they're not gonna expect me here though are they you got lucky. Skill? No. No. <laughs> There's no reason to gamble that they won't expect you there in a 5v2 when you have economic advantage. Like, you're not wrong. Statistically speaking, yeah, they probably won't expect you and you'll get two free kills. But also, the round's totally won if you just let them have a... I like ropes a lot. Oh, ropes? Yeah. Should I just hold mid? Yeah, and you should actually kill them this time. Because you should always be ready <laughs> for them for this whole round. You aim too high, too yeah. deep. They're going to swing out in front of that thing. You're aiming deep. Aim like in front of the frog wider. Yeah. Yeah. They move more to the right. Stop standing still. Look like a noob. No, that's what I meant. Like, peek that guy. You remember on my split guide where I say don't peek ramen side? Peek sewer side? Yeah. Then why are you holding ramen side and never clearing sewer side? You want to, like, clear them back and forth. If you stand still holding, you're going to just get laid out. You oh, yeah. can only stop when you shoot in this game, essentially. You only stand still if you have a shotgun or, like, an op. So you should always be, like, little wiggles back and forth when you're holding an angle. You know what I'm talking no, about? No, I was just confused. I thought... You wanted me to hold that angle. I didn't realize you want me to go between sewers and ramen because... Yeah, yeah. I... even holding with Vandal, though, you should be wiggling. Now, let me see your wiggling. Let's see it. So you're saying here I should go like this? Yeah, but your crosser is really poorly placed right now. I place it... You think they're always going to wide swing? More right. like yeah. I'm thinking if they do tight swing you, it's not the biggest deal because you just unswing them and then you can deady. Like, you can dead zone them. Because you wanted me to go like this? Oh, <laughs> God. Um, I got a clip for you. Yeah, fight that guy. Oh. oh, you crouched and you stood still. I got the clip for you one sec. Like I'm holding you to the immortal bar because that's what you're trying to hit. And you just can't peek like that. It's super newbie. Um, so when you're peeking there, it's kind of like the range drill where you should only stop the peek once you think you're going to headshot the jet. But you rushed and you body shot her. And then we're crying in the club. I'm going to show the clip real quick. Here's the clip I just sent him. Okay. Okay, yeah, it's two health. Nice try. It's funny how I have that clip sitting around. Like this is a this is an older clip, but it's this exact angle. Oh, oh. Okay. We got a gun. I don't think we should be running two knives like this. I'd probably vandal two knives. Oh, I have one. You gotta help your omen, bro. Yeah. This one backside on you, though. Ooh. Uh, nice crouch. It's actually... It so it's fine if you trust your teammates to trade you. And that's why you're going to see, like, the Radiant player crouch spread there a lot of the time. Because they know that the trade's coming. But it, if we're talking... 
if you were a radiant level player right now playing in this lobby you would not crouch there because you have to understand your opponents are so bad their movement's really bad i would be tapping these dudes heads on repeat i don't have that luxury against radiance because their movement's much better and they dead zone bullets at me like they would expect me rafters there after planting default because it makes a lot of sense for you to try and sneak out rafters on them good peek oh yeah i'd swing off your breach here look at the main map Maybe. i'm gonna swing off your flash off his flash <laughs> There's just one. What the fuck? This guy's fucking entering by himself. Yeah, you got faked. What? Don't. F oh god. You gotta go, bro. Oh Feels bad. no. Yeah, you've got this bad habit where every time you peek mid, you clear ramen and then you're like chilling. You got to clear sewers. That's the danger side. That's true. No, I, I was also like, fuck, Reina flash, but I didn't want Reina to flash because no one was looking at us. Yeah, but it's like you got to so help Omen, would... man. Yeah. You kind of got to go. Reina's flash was bad, though, because she didn't place it deep enough. Like, I get that you want to be sneaky, but your Omen need your help. You're right. Yeah, you're gonna get to fight them ramps. Let's see it. You wanna talk about it? <laughs> oh god, that was painful. <laughs> yeah, go first. Look at your HP. That guy's a rat. But that's good. I only got this raid. That was a good angle for him to hold, honestly. We can't fucking do shit to clear that. Yeah, maybe instead of body shotting the Reina three times before we hit, definitely cleanly clicked her head, we could have just taken a bit more time because these platinum players are really bad. There's a reason I linked you that like one um, smurfing video of the guy playing in these ranks. Because when you watch like these higher rated players, yeah, they crouch spray a lot. But that's like not something we need to worry about until we're literally pushing like radiant and the pacing becomes so fast that you need to like instantly hit shots or you die all the way up to even mid immortal just trying to aim for clean headshots is objectively better nice try the moment she peeked you you should have been holding d though and like running gunning not much you can do though like it's freaking half five we're also in ascendant mmr is so annoying it's because you like giga top fragged your way up to plat and where it's like oh smurf detected and then they go and brag in their blog post about how they've caught 93 percent of smurfs and flags them but they don't like know how many false positives they have that jet laid us out oh, are we gonna do it the ping pre-fire dead zone yeah right in that corner no 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 in the corner where the yellow barrier ends your ping is no no on the other side of it Oh, I see that's off. Like they'd okay. be crouched against it. The round we begin, they wouldn't move. Jesus. Ooh, uh, NT. Yeah, this is making me want to just keep picking Reyna, actually. Not because you can't play Jet, but because, God, you really just need to fix the like, aim and the crosshair discipline and the movement. Holy cow, we got to play off this Ranjeet guy. We got to get some value from this dude. Holy. Hey, Breach, you want to just stun them at the beginning? I'm just going to peek. I'm just going to swing wide. Clean. You're gonna swing and you're gonna dead zone them, yeah? Do I need a dead zone here if they're stunned? I just fucking killed them, right? Okay, okay, you're assuming he's gonna hit it on all of them? I like it. Yeah, yeah, why not? Let's go, let's go. Oh. Not sure about going for more, but I like it. You got yours. The reason that Astra killed you, by the way, is because she, uh, she went into cover after seeing you, and then you stood still and held where she was. But then she just dead zoned you. Uh, if she, if somebody knows your exact location, remember when I showed you this Haven A main? Like I told you to stand somewhere, I pinged it, and then I just insta headshot you, and there's nothing you can do. Yep. You just let Astra do that to you. The moment she gets cover and she like has this mental image of where you are, you've got to change where you are, because otherwise you're dead. So that's why you died there. Not because of the overheat. Like I don't want to too 
my own horn, but like if I just run at these kids and you're in this lobby, even though some of them are pretty good, I'm almost certainly hard top frag and we're winning right now. And it's not like with your aim even, like just with my movement. Why not op on jet? With what money? We've been losing every round chat. Yeah. What money? Fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to clip that to show you. You were shooting as you flicked at them and you stopped moving. Instead, you need to keep moving as you flick. You're going to over flick a bit. You keep moving and then you end on their head and you you shoot them just like in the drill. Yes, Roscato, I would say Reyna because Reyna's dead simple. She's got no complexity. So you don't your brain doesn't get busy thinking about anything other than cooking. Do you have the play Darshan? I think it's a shorty updraft smoke light armor and you asked for that heaven smoke A. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wait, wait, we okay. Yeah, we can. I don't have enough. No, I don't oh, have enough updraft. Oh, I forgot they nerfed the smoke. Yeah, I would just go updraft light armor then and shorty and no smoke. We're chilling. And then make sure you get Omen to smoke A heaven for you. Oh, of course. Can we go B? Can you smoke A heaven for me, Omen? Or oh, sorry, A. Yeah. Oh, shit. Now they don't I was, go. Yeah, this isn't going to work. This isn't going to work. Tell them never mind. This is not going to work alone. It's never mind, never alone. mind. Yeah, it's peak sewer side mid. Let's play cross. Start shooting at them and I'm going to go. What? MT, oh, MT. damn. That guy's got the read on you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's a bit early on the dash, boss. <laughs> the purpose of the smoke is so you can walk into it to get close enough to do the dash. Yeah, I heard someone close. So I was just like, fuck it. I'm going to try and kill them. But Well, then we want to dash into another smoke to close the gap. True. Many hours. I think Snoop Zero has given up on the game, but yeah, I think he's that's a just a hunch. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie, the jet's too unclean. I don't think we can pick it. Yeah, with uh I need, I need 11 days left, I think we just need the Reyna because it's too much. Um, it's too much to learn in 11 days if that's like the target goal of 31 days jet is probably objectively better for us to learn like if we had two months but if we're just trying to reach the highest peak possible i think we gotta just stick to reyna because there's too many like nuance in the way we're playing jet that needs work speaking of how was that Yeah, yeah, head height, head height. Stop aiming in the wall. You're aiming in the wall. Only do that when you're about to pre aim. Like right now, there's no reason. Thank you. Thank you. And yeah, you do have to back away a bit from the corner to keep it head height. But there was just this window where they could be shift walking up on us. And if you're just going to hold in the wall until some arbitrary time where you're going to peek, you're just going to die if we get unlucky. And I don't like leaving like windows like that for no reason. Someone make noise mid. I'm I'm going to late lurk through A. Easy. Okay. You got this, Tarshan. You got this. They're totally ropes. They're totally male. With an op. And nice I try, nice try, nice try, nice try. I don't think that was our problem. <laughs> I was hoping I could go for him fast while he was focused on... Uh... On you because you made noise mid and you smoked ropes. You're playing hope, a bit too much hope of Valorant there. <laughs> they can, <laughs> he wouldn't be looking at you. All right, I got to show you this problem, though. This is so big. I've got exhibit heckin A here. So you're going to come out wide at some point. And first of all, as you're coming out wider, you need to realize that you're unswinging this angle. So as you walk to the right, less of this angle is being exposed, which means it's no longer dangerous because they can't really peek you as you unswing it. So our crosshair should be here. That makes sense. Yeah. Um. Now, of course, they can peek you if they swing fast, right? Because you're shift walking. But essentially, um, it's less likely because of the way we're moving. And if they do peek us, it's easier for us to deal with that because we're already moving towards cover from that angle. 
So our crosshairs placed poorly. So my crosshair would have been on the left already. And now you're holding W like this walk is really weird. Anyways, here's the enemy. And do you see how soon you're already shooting? You're lucky you started aiming before you even reacted to her. But look, why are we shooting already? One shooting error. You haven't even stopped. Two, you're not on her head. And three, look, she stood still. She just immediately committed to the craft spray. If we just took our time, this is probably around when we'd have shot our bullet instead, maybe even like a bit later, but we'd still be moving until we aim. So you fired not a single useful bullet. These are fully nothing but movement error. And if we just took our time on the shot, it's much better. The reason it's so hard for me to um, like show you how important this is because when you're playing um, or when you're watching these higher rated players, you can't see that they're just really fast at shooting accurate bullets. Like the initial bullets are so important. Wait, let's see if we can recreate. Okay, so you're just gonna be the Reyna, and all you're gonna do is, can you see my screen real quick? You're gonna peek here, and then you're gonna pre-aim to peek ropes, and then when you see me here, you're gonna commit to a crouch spray, just like the Reyna. Yep, go ahead. Okay. Okay, you wanna try again? Yep. Go ahead and do it again. Okay, now I'm gonna clip and show you what that looks like from my POV. So you can see where you went wrong. This is like, this is going to convert every time against these people who insta crouch spray because they're doing it wrong. These people suck at the game. So here's how it looks. So I'm moving out. Now I see you and notice I keep moving until I'm on your head and then I shoot orange bullets. And after I shoot my first bullet, I might crouch spray. Okay. So when you say like, oh, all these radians, they always crouch spray. I might crouch spray there at that point. I might commit to that fight, but I'm only starting the fight once I think I'm on you. It's very hard for this person to hit an insta shot on a moving target. I would give them maybe in Radiant 30% odds. So if somebody in Radiant rushes shots like this, yeah, they're going to kill me when they hit it 30% of the time. And they will die 70% of the time to me, which is bad. That's bad for them and good for me. Now in Platinum, this dude's hitting that shot instantly, maybe 10% of the time on you. Maybe. Like, yeah, you'll die, but not that often. And so you peak. I stay mobile the moment I like register you're on my screen so that your bullets can't connect to me. And then once I'm on your head, once I know I'm ready to shoot you, like the over aiming drill, I stop and I shoot. I don't like rush the shots all orange. You see, do you see the technique difference? And there I sprayed, I committed to a spray. Cause you're out here like, why does Jing spray every fight? So I figured I'd spray against you. In this game it's not who shoots first wins or has an advantage. That's not the game. It's who has the lower time to kill wins. And headshots are way lower time to kill. Like it's not even close. The person who, let's say, let's arbitrarily say we've got two players. We've got the red player who's represented by this circle and the blue player. You can see the paint. And let's say that they have, um, each of them has like an accuracy and a time it takes them to shoot their first bullet. So let's say the red guy has 30% accuracy on his first shot. Like it connects to the head 30% of the time. And it takes him 180 milliseconds to shoot. And let's say the blue guy connects his first bullet to the head 75% of the time, but it takes him 210 milliseconds to shoot. In Valorant, this blue guy wins that fight every time. Like statistically speaking, when I say every time, you know what I mean. Of course, um, the blue guy has a huge advantage in this fight. Now, of course, there are exceptions. Like if you hit the first shot 100% of the time, but it takes you 700 milliseconds. Of course, that is worse. Don't get me wrong. That Now, this guy's crying in the club. He's way too slow. But there's like the inacceptable window of quote unquote slowness that we don't see when we watch these high radiant professional players because they're so fast. You don't see that they're they are going slower than they're capable of. Like Jing is totally capable of flicking even faster and shooting even faster than he is. He totally could, but he would be sacrificing accuracy. And the trade off has to be You've got to find where the right trade-off is. And right now you're pushing this speed too fast at too much cost of this accuracy. Does that make sense? So I want you to dial it way back. Like you need to experiment. You need to figure out how slow is too slow, how fast is too fast. And just being conscious that this is a problem should help. It's a huge problem. And don't just watch Jing play and go, wow, he shoots in 150 milliseconds. So I need to shoot in 150 milliseconds. Yeah, once you're high radiant, you do, but you can't set the bench press of 500 pounds as your like bar when you can't even like bench one plate. And you can't be like, well, he works out four hours a day. I should work out four hours a day when it's your first day in the gym type thing. So there's um, this is the game we're playing and our opponents, most people 
err on the wrong side of this. They err on this like under accurate first bullet whiffing and they rush their shots. And this is generally worse than if you just take a little more time in exchange for more accuracy. And this accuracy will go up even more in platinum because these dudes commit to the craft spray is such an easy shot. Can we watch the clip back. When you commit, and this is exactly what happened in your clip, your head stops moving. And it's so easy for me to click that. If we go back to your clip now, you can see it's the same scenario. I re remade it one to one here. There's you again. See how you're already crouched? And we're not accurate, but we became immobile. And that's when we died. We, be we died after we became immobile. If we kept moving to the right, her bullets would have trailed behind us and then we would have shot her head. It, this is like the thing. And this is kind of why I want to put us just on Reina duty, man. It's so boring. I want to teach you all of the agents and tech and it's super fun, but there's not enough time because we can't focus on two things at once. We can't focus on here's all of these cool jet plays. Oh, you were dashing too early. You've got to smoke yourself off in those situations when we're like so fundamentally flawed in these fights. If your goal is um, maximum rank in one month, that makes sense. So we have to clean these up. Uh, could you could DM? You could DM? Yeah. Perfect. Let's go. I want you to DM and I want you to try and err on the side of being too slow, but staying mobile until you're ready to shoot. A fight where you die without shooting a bullet is generally fine. Okay. That's like the idea I want in your head. You should think, dang, I should have aimed faster. Not dang, I should have shot sooner. Does that make sense? Yes. So if you die before shooting, it's because you didn't get your crosshair onto them soon enough. It's not because you didn't click soon enough. Easy. You rushed. You rushed your shots. You rest those shots through. You hit his second shoulder. That's better, but you stood still and then aimed and then shot on that jet, which is bad. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you stood still. You stood still to line it up. You can't do that. You can't do that. Yeah. And try not to change directions while you're lining it up because you're essen that's essentially standing still at a certain point. You don't want to change directions while you're lining up the first bullet. That was really good. That was good. No, you stood still too long before you shot at that guy. Uh, Look at your shooting aircraft. You weren't ready to shoot. Now you stood still against that guy. <laughs> nope, nope. Crowd spraying is fine, but not till you're lined up on the shot. You change directions. You see the problem? When they uh, start spraying like that, when you're moving in one direction, you don't want to change because their crosshair is lagging behind you. He rushed. I didn't see you even try to aim up, even though you were clearly aimed too low on that first shot on the guy. It's better. I really want you processing where the head is and trying to put your crosshair on it before you click. That looks really good. That looked really good. I don't care that you missed. It looks like you tried to do that. That one was really bad. Process where the head is, aim at it, then click. I don't care if you miss, but that was good. You tried to aim for the head. That was good. You died before you could shoot. That was good. I could tell you were aiming for the head. That was good. That was good. All right, all right I got clips. I got clips. I got clips. First, I'm going to show you at the end where I was very happy. So you can see the difference. Okay. So the end, watch this race. This was good. So here you see how you aimed for the head and then you thought you were on her and you clicked. I genuinely think you thought you were on her and then you thought she'd keep moving. You went for the shots. So there I saw care. I saw you trying to click her head and that was lit. And there you see that patience here. You missed you adjusted and clicked. That was good. That's good technique. Okay. So here you, you flicked and I, I'm going to show you the older clips from this DM. You would have shot right here. Okay. But here you became more mature. You became a cool guy. You didn't care that she's shooting at you. Bam. That's good. That's good shit. Okay. Okay. Dopamine, dopamine. Now I'm going to show you the bad clips. Oh my God. We dropped a frame when he peeks you, unfortunately. But you see how you shot him immediately on the body when he peeked you yeah. with movement and accuracy? You just die to this guy. Okay. You don't shoot a bullet. It's fine. It's fine if you die to that guy. He kills you so fast. What can you do? He's like, got right there. You see that chamber? Yeah. I just shoot as soon as I see someone instead of taking the time. 
You just shot him in the arm. Dude's not even looking at you. <laughs> hey, buddy, I'm here. Yeah. You see? You see this omen? Yeah. I should just be moving. I should be moving around that corner. I mean, my crosshair placement isn't good either beforehand. Yeah, but it's more like the shots get rushed. And yeah, you get the headshot, but that was how many bullets on a guy who was not moving that well. Next clip. It's so rushed. It's so rushed. Like here, I guess maybe you thought you were on his head because he keeps swinging. So I can kind of give that cut. to you. I can give that to you. But then like, that's pretty ugly. And you weren't moving between your shots. And look at that. Look at that panic. Insta spray. The technique is almost correct here, by the way. You get surprised by him and you need to flick quickly. And yeah, this is a crowd spray fight. Okay. So you flick. Now you need to micro adjust near him, and then crowd spray. But what you do here is you start crowd spraying and you just try to like mindlessly. Sorry, I'm going to use the word micro adjust because I want you to understand that when people hit these shots, everyone, radiance, they're not just flicking the mouse and trusting like muscle memory or mouse control to hit the head. Okay. They're very quickly putting the crosshair on the head. That makes sense. So it's not a micro flick. It's a micro adjustment. This was a flick. You did it over here. They're very inconsistent. They're not reliable. Now, a micro adjustments, very consistent. Like I put you in the range and ask you to just click this shot. You'll click that shot. Now, if I ask you to click it instantly with a flick, you're not going to click it. You're going to miss it a lot of the time. But when you just have to hit this shot, like a nice straight shot as fast as possible, you can hit it pretty quickly, 100% of the time. But watch what you do. See if I can go for it. You, see, you're already firing. <laughs> yeah. And then you instantly flick towards the guy, like really jittery. That's the problem. We need to micro adjust, not micro flick. And like, I can't blame you, by the way, for thinking that you should be micro flicking. Because when you watch these heckin' Radiant players play, you'd swear to God they're flicking instantly. You know what I'm saying? So this is when I, this is when it clicked for you, by the way. This is when I told you, you need to see his head, see your crosshair and put it on his head. Because here you're aimed too low, but you didn't even like think about it and you just shot. And then uh, your spray carried you up, you lucky dog. I was like, where are you All skill. Yeah. And then back to the good clip, back to the good clip. And we're going to run one more DM. See, taking time trying to hit the head. Now, yeah, you whiff because you suck. But there we can blame aim and not technique. <laughs> That's what we want. We want to blame aim. We don't want to blame technique. This raise, that's aim. And that's the best thing in the world. When you hear me say your aim is the problem, you know you're doing it right. Because I rarely tell people that their aim is the problem. But this kill on this raise is your aim's fault. That is aim right there. We love when it's your aim's problem, okay? Fixing aim is easy. You can learn aim fast. Fucking perfect. Yeah, you stood still a bit too much to line up that shot. But otherwise, great. Yup. That was perfect. That was perfect. You see, you just, you just chill. You click the head. Okay. If that's how long you need to do that, then that's fine. But that we need to work on that. That was really good. That was really good. I love that fight from you. Yeah. We got to grind that out. And th I think we have to stick with Reyna because it's too much on our plate. If we, I tell you to work on that in ranked and you're picking jet. Yeah. Yeah. And trying to learn another agent because that's what we're lacking. That first bullet assiduousness is the word like you're treating it with the utmost respect making sure that you're mobile until you drop that first bullet all i care about is that first bullet that fight against the reina you rushed it you should have kept moving till you're ready to shoot it i don't want you standing still to line up that first bullet unless i guess they're like in front of you or something you're behind them uh so you have to be mobile so you get that first bullet with as much accuracy as you can possibly squeeze into it and if you shoot it too slowly it's your aim's problem you shoot it too early it's a technique problem.